With the addition of Outbreak in Cold War Zombies, it has also brought with it some new upgrades for everything else in the game, such as perks, weapons, and abilities. Unlike the other guide I've done on how to farm Ethereum crystals, this one is going to focus on the new crystal currency to get those extra upgrades for tier 4 and 5. These are refined and flawless crystals. When you go to upgrade your stuff to tiers 4 and 5, just just remember that flawless crystals are more valuable than refined. So to begin this farming strat, just note that Outbreak is a much better thing to do this in than normal traditional zombies. So this video is going to be structured by the first part being Outbreak, which is the best way to be doing this, and it is the way I recommend too. And then there's going to be another section where I just talk about what to do in normal zombies, because doing this in Outbreak is going to be the the fastest and really just most efficient way. So to get started, I'm just going to go over the general setup here. For this to go smoothly, you don't have to follow this, but I would say it's very important that you do. First and foremost, let's talk about weapons. I would go for the Reike Wonder Weapon, a shotgun of any kind. This can be the Hauer or the Gallo, although the Hauer as of right now is probably the best shotgun. As for abilities, go for Ring of Fire or Ether a shroud as is usually the case. I would have a chopper gunner kill streak for an exfil since in this strat exfilling is very important. Have any equipment that you want it doesn't really affect anything and as for perks I would have things like jug, speed cola, stamina up, quick revive, dead shot and elemental pop. Sorry tombstone. <laughs> so when you spawn in you'll be on round one obviously and you're gonna want to just try and get things done as quickly as possible especially if you have learnt your way round Outbreak, just try and get everything you need as soon as possible, although if you want to you can take your time, but if you want to do it faster then I'm just going to recommend a few things. Don't bother with chests, okay? A lot of the time you're only going to get a bit of ammo and like a Semtex or something, and it's not like you're going to need to look for a gun because you would have already have spawned with the one you need. In terms of getting hold of that Reike, I would go for a trial. As soon as you spawn in just go and start a trial and try and get the ball rolling as fast as you can. If you do the trial to a good enough standard you then have a very high chance of getting a reiki. Like I said earlier you don't have to do this at lightning speed. If you need to do other things then definitely do them but if you're just trying to get this out of the way and do it as fast as you can then I would just recommend doing only what you need to. Although I do personally think it's best just to take your time at the beginning to just really set up and get what you need. In terms of points building, you should be able to get a lot of it just going over to the objective and then doing the objective and you should get quite a few points and enough to buy a perk or two and pack a punch. Now the slowest portion of this strategy is going to be the start because at the end of the day you can try and do it as fast as you can but you are gonna need to do some sort of setting up. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing anyway because once you start getting into the later rounds you can just start doing only main objectives and just kind of flying past it and getting more and more crystals under your belt. You'll notice that it all starts really picking up at about round four onwards that's when it feels like the ball really does get rolling and by about round four or five you should be set up especially depending on how many players are in the match and if you're set up within that kind of time frame not only are you going to be able to just start smashing out the objective but you'll also be a lot more prepared for that difficulty spike and you're going to need to know when the hell to even exfil and get out of there and the recommendation here is anywhere between round 15 and round 25 and I'm just going to say right now for an equal balance of like more crystals and extra time I'd just go for about round 20 but overall if you can get to those points then it really is just dependent on when when you feel like you need to exfil and when you have to get out or else you won't be able to survive any longer but as long as it is anywhere between 15 and 25 you should be good essentially for doing this you're going to be getting the max profit for your time but let me just say once that difficulty spike hits it's going to be very annoying and this is mainly in part due to the mini bosses that are going to be constantly overwhelming you especially when you start an exfil and when it gets difficult in those later 
around and a lot of them can overwhelm you or are just really powerful. This is where the wonder weapon spam can begin and if not that then take full advantage of the elemental effects that you can put on your weapon. Shatter Blast is going to be able to absolutely tear through manglers and panzers and even just regular armoured zombies. From experience Blast Furnace or Napalm Blast I think it's called in this is going to be really useful for not only dogs but I've noticed it also does actually do the trick on manglers as well. Brain Rot is going to be good for the new Avogadro type of enemies that have been added into the game. These are the Tempests in Cold War. Deadwire is going to be at its best against those thick boy Megatons and the Mimics and I would also go as far as to say this really is just the best one for clearing out hordes of zombies as well. And as for Cryo Freeze, it's not that useful. <laughs> and this is why Elemental Pop is recommended in this strat because there's going to be so many mini bosses just flying around the screen and you're obviously only going to be able to have one or two elemental effects so this allows you to have them all and it may not be as reliable but it's better than absolutely nothing. Now that you know all of this and you've been going through those objectives and you've got to the right round to exfil just to take a bit of a weight off your shoulders use the chopper gunner I recommended earlier as well as the elemental effects and the wonder weapons and hopefully the exfil should go pretty well. And to keep earning more crystals essentially just rinse and repeat the whole process and it's not the most time effective strategy although it is one of the fastest considering that these two crystals are going to be much harder to earn and so you do need to do a bit more work but if you just do it for a few hours then you should be able to get quite a few crystals in your game and this outbreak strategy really is the best way to do it right now so I'm going to tell you about the other strategy now which is just pretty much the round 31 strat I did another video on for only raw ethereum crystals since these weren't out at the time. Although I would just exfil around round 31 to 36, I think any of them are fine. Just make sure you have the usual stuff like the chopper gunner, wonder weapons, and since this can be on any map, I would just go with whatever wonder weapon will suit you best on that map. Going past anywhere near the round 36 exfil really isn't going to merit you much more crystals since the time will just take way too long for what you'll be getting. And if you just rinse and repeat that exfil at round 31 or 36, then it's going to be the fastest way within that strategy to be able to get those crystals you need. But like I said, you really are going to be getting the best and fastest results from Outbreak. It's also pretty good for your COD Battle Pass as well on Outbreak because the matches are pretty long so it counts towards playtime. And if you just keep doing this strat, you'll be able to get all of your stuff upgraded. But anyways, I'm going to leave this video here today. If this was useful or you just enjoyed the video, then be sure to smash the like button, comment how you're finding this strategy or if you're going to give it a go, and only a very small percentage of people are even subscribed to the channel, so if you've made it this far or you're enjoying my content in general, then just subscribe, it's completely free, you can change your mind whenever you want to. Turn on the notification bell too to be updated whenever I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.